We were joined this morning by Mr. Bolaji Ogunshaya, a development economist. Thank you for coming on this morning. Good morning. Thank and, you. And then uh, just still staying, keeping our focus on the uh, economic policies. We do know that the finance minister did appear before the sentence once upon a time and said uh, technically we're in recession. But that particular decision that the uh, CBN took, now eight banks, uh, one eventually let up the hook. Well, we have people who have said, it might have been done differently, while others thought that, look, they had no choice. They had to do what they had to do. Well, the impacts can always be mitigated. What do you think? I mean, it's, um, it's within the overall um, um, pack of um, a lot that is wrong with the, uh, some of the key sectors of the economy, or virtually all of them. We talk a lot about the oil sector, I think, but the banking sector, and I think I... I I have probably expressed that view here or elsewhere. The banking sector is one of those sectors that should be uh, an enabler, that should be one of the trigger points okay, for economic uh, uh, you know, resurgence, for growth. But they're not. The banking sector is not. The banking sector, quite frankly, is also looking out for itself in the economy strictly. I mean, the banking sector wants to make profit for itself. I mean, for the big guys there, for certain, you know, preferential, preferred sort of uh, central actors, especially in the oil and gas, traders, people go to China and bring stuff and, and things like this. But the Nigerian banking sector has never really, <clears throat> in my view, positioned itself as a key fulcrum in the... Uh, if you like, in the economic transition, well, why in the effort to take Nigeria from a pre-industrial economy to an industrial. I don't think they, they've ever positioned themselves seriously for that. Why do you think so? Well, I mean, look at it. I mean, a lot of uh, the biggest names in our banking sector um, over the last 20, 25, 30 years, the billionaires, 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 like I said, you can't point to this is their factory. This is what they do. They just everybody just plays around money and you know trading up money to money, all the clever thing between forex and things, and they make money. Whereas in other societies, either through government uh, insistence and policy uh, assurance, or because you have leaders who, on their own, understand the historical nature of their role. Uh, you have leaders who have actually gone on to try to produce for the economy, to enable production. I mean, people like Henry Ford and things, they were making money, but they, 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 were, they were creating a whole industrial wealth, creating economic uh, uh, um, uh, path for the U.S. economy. Do you understand? And then you can mention so many other, some in our Greek, some in, but in Nigeria we don't, not only do we not have um, leaders right. in the private sector who think like this, but also the, the entire governance thing, the interface, the meeting point between government yeah. and the private sector, government and especially the banking sector. The meeting point is about you know the big boys helping the big boys make money and things and stuff. It is not, it is not um, a corporatist kind of um, coming together like you had in Japan with MITI you know, Ministry for International Trade and Investment uh, in Singapore, EDB, and all of these things. Entities that have sprung up, uh, they are collaborationist entities in the private sector, in the banking sector, in government, and the key purpose is to push the entire economy. Right. Knowing that when you push that, a lot of wealth will come out. In Nigeria, no. They okay. come together for individuals to become billionaires. Yeah, let's look at some of the uh, attempts, policies that the government has put in place to maybe to stimulate the economy and then <coughs> grow the manufacturing or the local industries here. Mm -hmm. We do know that the, the, the CBN says they're planning to create this 750 billion naira agri fund. Uh, that's part of their commitment to make agriculture the mainstay of the economy. And this is not the first of the uh, interventionist funds that the CBN has put into the system, and they still have to go through the banks. Now, yeah, the ones that have been done notwithstanding, the previous ones, how do you see this particular one achieving its aim? Number one, as long as when this money get to the banks, 
they do not allow the banks to make them fungible in other words to disappear them into the overall uh, 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 lending money of the because this is what has happened in the past they give them these special monies it's for agriculture because it's not the first time right and um, then they just mix it up with everything and they give it to them it might be three percent two percent from central bank to the commercial banks and they say to them loan this money at five percent do you understand six percent just to cover your administration you are not expected to make a serious profit from this just cover your administration a little profit that's why we no the banks put everything together they give it at 25 30 33 you know those they are one 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 percent i know so this is what they've done in the past so i'm saying this time around i'm hoping those who are putting out this money will also follow it with policy they're striving to make this at a five percent interest rate they have done this before i'm saying the key thing is to get the banks to not mix this with their you know wider money and then start lending it at 30 35 percent if they can do that and do it successfully because you see the banks will not automatically just comply you have seen but it they, with the tsa they have not remitted the dollars how would they be able to if after all these years if not be able to get the banks to separate the intervention funds from their regular lending monies how would you how would they be able to do that no they would have that officially they have not separated them in fact i have do you know sometimes these banks are simply not interested in that money they just leave you there if they are not able to sort of you know make it fungible and use it along with their regular money do you see why, why would they not be that interested they don't want to make one percent profit they don't want to make they want the mega box the mega profit inflated profit even though this is a, uh, a special intervention fund and government says we want to use this to push that sector things that's the first thing i think the second thing is not okay you want to ask more questions no no go ahead because i was going to say the second thing is to make sure that this money this special intervention fund is used to push the value chain maybe you are not aiming to take the cocoa and turn it straight into the best chocolate in the world but take the cocoa uh, invest more in taking it to level two level three do you understand value added and then you can sell it to those who make the best chocolate while you are preparing the sector to be able to the cocoa products line to be able to make the best chocolate you can give you should give yourself something like over the next seven years we will first there are about four steps okay in the value addition we will specialize in the first two steps but over the next seven years we would have got to the final step so that here we produce the cocoa as an example i'm giving and we export the beautiful finished value added world class chocolate we can you know look we need to look at our product specific value chain development we have a lot of agro products we should say okay these products how far can it go what is the end you know at value added as you know if you are if you are selling cocoa you sell you know uh, whatever of your bushel or something at this amount um the person who adds value and sells finally is going to get about 10 15 times what you get it's the same thing for fuel uh, you know crude oil if you specialize like nigeria in crude 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 raw 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 natural 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 fine you get crude money you get raw money but the person who takes it to petroleum product to use in the car you see how much money he's making five ten times as much so i'm saying this intervention for most always must also target um the value chain even if I, if I can go the whole full hog at once.